I don't understand why some men date single moms and marry them. If nobody wants to date single moms, how we all got boyfriends? Somebody is lying on his app because I will have my daughter in my arms and I will have somebody come ask me out. And I'll just be like, oh, well, like, you know, I got a kid, right? And I'm like, all right, cool. What kind of snacks you like? So somebody is lying. I need all the men that say y'all that men don't want single moms to come forward because y'all lying. Look, man. Now, I'm going to be very honest about this topic because at the end of the day, I mean, hell, my, my wife was a single mother. I don't, I never had an issue dating single mothers. And I think outside of the internet and podcasts that most dudes really don't, or at least they used to not. And women kind of did that to themselves um, and couple that with Red Pill Podcast. Like today's is probably not, but dudes still would date single mothers and do. But um, to her point, uh, it's a, it's a series of things, man. Cause I mean, back in my day, you know, I understood that yeah, single like big women and single mothers was easy. Like if I was ever in a dry spell and down on hard times, I knew I could always hit up a single mother or a big woman. Don't get mad. This is just the truth, you know. And with the big chicks, it was always like, you know, I wasn't ugly, so if I dealt with them, they was just ready to go. Cause they didn't know when the next time they was going, they, they would be hungry for attention. And that back then they always had good personalities. Like now they be thinking if that's here nor there. And then like single mothers, they didn't know when the next time, you know what I'm saying? They be ready, always on go. That little coochie be prying and ready, boy. Them kids make that coochie immaculate. And then, you know what I'm saying? Boy, let a, let a baby mama be mad at her baby daddy. Oh, <laughs> let a baby mama finally get a weekend away from them kids. Boy, you went for a good weekend, ain't it? <laughs> Okay, dating single moms is a topic that's got more layers than a wedding cake. Welcome back to the Black Coffee Podcast. First off, we got someone here questioning why men would even bother dating single moms, claiming nobody wants to. But hold on a sec, let's pump the brakes. That's like saying nobody wants a slice of pizza on a Friday night. Somebody's definitely fibbing, and it ain't the guy swiping right. Now some folks seem to think that single moms have low self-esteem, or are somehow undesirable. But let's be real here, fellas. Single moms are out there slaying it, juggling kids, careers, and probably even a side hustle or two. They're not looking for validation. They're too busy being bosses. And, you know, single mothers tend to be attractive because they're single mothers. They got pregnant for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And most dudes, and you look at their baby daddies and their baby daddies never match their preferences now because you'd be like, well, what the fuck was he? And you, but it'd be them, I tell you, I call them turtle, I call them turtle dudes. They the dudes that catch them off a bad breakup. You know what I'm saying? Catch them when they down and bad and they just looking for some affection. They get treated right by the ugly dude. You know what I'm saying? Or pretending by it, and then he like, dang, she the baddest chick I ever had. I gotta get her pregnant. Because she, eventually she wake up because he gonna get full of himself or she gonna wake up out of that rut and start going back to what she used to and seeing what she used to and be like, why am I with him? And then he start feel, either feeling himself or be like, dang, what am I gonna do to control her and keep her? Cause I'm not used to having bad bees. So he gonna get her pregnant. Cause that's the only way that they can keep them forever. They will ever, forever, even if they break up, they will forever tie together. And he gonna normally be the problematic baby daddy. But most dudes never, like, I didn't care about dating single mothers. It just came to either it was usually never the woman. It was either their issues, like how they were with their kids, or it was their baby daddies. So that's usually why I would be like, okay, and I would get tired of it. But as far as dealing with them, like, I never had an issue. See, and maybe because if it's not the baby daddy, it's how they are with their kids and how, like, if we get serious, it turns in, it's you... Like the ones that will remind you like it's us versus like you're just an addition. So like that gets tiring instead of looking at it like, well, you're going to be the one that is leading this family type shit, whatever, whatever. Like, but you couple that with today in 2024 with podcasts, you know, bitches like Sprinkle Sprinkle and, you know, and, and it, the topics that we talk about, it's devalued. Like single mothers have overinflated themselves and the dudes you know what I'm saying have caught on to the game and the dudes that didn't you know have access to women try to get a part of the game 
like, oh, I'm just gonna talk to, like, the podcast had told the men, like, since you're single with no children and you have a good job, you deserve, you're better than those single mothers. And it's like, eh, because that doesn't mean you get access to any woman. And like, even the, like, just because you got a good job or just because you don't have children, doesn't put you above a woman that is attractive and can usually get whatever type of man she wants just because she got a kid or two. Because you supposed to go talk to the single mother because you're still ugly, you're still short, you're still out of shape. So like podcasts have jacked it up for both sides. These internet topics have back jacked it up for both sides. But outside in that real life, I think most dudes really don't care. It's just be how y'all are with y'all kids and then y'all baby daddies. Because stepdaddies and men who want to be stepfathers used to get treated with respect and like honored. And now they get, you know, treated as licks and sims. So, I mean, ladies, y'all kind of did it to yourself. But then there's this whole idea that single moms are somehow a convenient option for guys. Like they're the discounted aisle at the grocery store. Look, attraction is attraction. But it's not just about looks. It's about respect, compatibility, and being on the same page. So let's not reduce it to just easy access. And let's not forget the stereotypes. Single moms are often painted as either desperate or damaged goods. But hey, last time I checked, having a kid doesn't come with a sign that says handle with care. These are strong, independent women we're talking about. If nobody wants to date single moms, how we all got boyfriends? Because you look good. Somebody is lying on- I really want to be respectful saying this, but it's because you guys look good. Like, oh, ladies, y'all know how a lot of men think. They think with the bottom head and not the top head. So if they see an attractive woman and she says, oh, I have a kid, what does that have to do with his end goal? That's what I need some of you to think about. Think about how that man treats you, comes to you, and how involved he's truly trying to be in your life. Is he just doing what he needs to do to get into your pants? Or is he doing what he needs to do to build a family since you already have a little one? We have never said that y'all don't look good. Some of the most prettiest women in the world are single moms because they got trapped by an evil dude when they was younger. Yes, that's a real thing. So yes, men will still approach you. Men are definitely going to still talk to you. But I just need some of you to think, which head is this man thinking with? Is he thinking with this head or is he thinking with that bottom head? What is he there for? Is he there to help you build and nurture a child or is he there just to have fun? I'm saying this in the most respectful way. Let me give you some game, young lady. Uh, you're still fairly young. Of course, we understand you can have boyfriends. It's gonna happen regardless whether or not you're a single mother or you don't have any kids, right? Just from a man's point of view, who used to do it. Uh, basically, if I seen a single mom and she got a little small kid, whatever, of course, I'm thinking that's an easy fuck. And usually it is. Not all the time, but usually it is. And of course, when the guy said, what kind of snacks do your baby eat or whatever, that's just another tactic just to win your heart over, falsely win your heart over. You know why? Because I've done it before. So, of course, we know you can have sex. We know you can date a high value man. We know all this right here. Guys are not, you know, we say this or whatever about single moms, you know, it's hard for you to date. It's not hard for you to date. It's not hard for you to have sex. But it's damn hard for a lot of y'all single mothers to get husbands. But I know a lot of y'all can say y'all don't want to get married. But it's hard for y'all to get a husband. We understand y'all can have boyfriends and this and that. But the way a lot of men look at it, if you can't work it out with your baby daddy or you left your baby daddy, what makes you think you're not going to leave him? And that's why a lot of relationships with single mothers don't work out. Because if you quick to leave the baby daddy, regardless of what he done, now how easy would it be for you to leave this man who just come to your picture and play simp daddy? It's D Flow to speaking facts. But you know, you're a nice looking lady, so you're gonna have, you know, boyfriends. But can you get a husband? We'll see your ring in a couple months. Prove me wrong. Now some guys, they're all about that help and smash life. You know the type just looking for a place to crash and someone to Netflix and chill with. But let's not generalize. There are plenty of stand-up guys out there who see beyond the stereotypes and are ready to step up. But here's the kicker, commitment. That's the real test. Can you handle the whole package? It's not just about dating. It's about building a future together, blending families, 
and navigating the ups and downs of life. Oh boy, okay, I took a look at this young lady's profile and um, the way she looks, she could be carrying like three little children in each of her hands and she could probably be homeless living in a cardboard box and because of the way she looks there would still be a line of dudes waiting to smash just like a, a mile long line of dudes just waiting for their turn now I'm not sure people are understanding the difference between you know come and go revolving door type of dudes and dudes who are actually willing to stay to commit to commit themselves to you and your children. So there's a difference. And let's address the elephant in the room, the judgment. Single moms face enough challenges without being labeled as easy or irresponsible. Let's cut the stigma and focus on supporting each other, regardless of our family status. And I just be like, oh, well, like, you know, I got a kid, right? And then I'm like, all right, cool. What kind of snacks you like? John about to get me in trouble, so I'm cover this. Okay, so of course people are gonna date you, like you're an attractive person, like you're gonna still be able to get dates, but I think the argument is about commitment. It's hard for people who have children to find someone to commit to them and their children, right? The ones that aren't theirs, like when a man commits to a woman who has kids that aren't theirs. That's what the argument is. It's not ever been about dating. Like anybody can date anybody. Anybody can be attracted to anybody, and I'm someone who's actually dated single moms before. It's not something that I'm even opposed to. But the long-term likelihood of the success of the relationship is what we're arguing. Some guys don't even want to put up with it. And that's cool. And some dudes do. I'm not saying they're wrong for wanting to do that. But, like, I think you missed the point of the argument. Of course. How would you get the kids in the first place? You're clearly someone people desire, right? But my argument's always been this. If the person is responsible and, like, is trying to provide for their kids, I'm, I'm down. Right? It's cool. Like, let's run it. But if you're like out here with, you know, more kid, like five baby daddies and five, and five kids, I think there's a level of irresponsibility that comes with that. But I'm never here to bash single moms, man. Like I, I get it. Like, you know, life happens. We've all done things in our past where we could have been parents at this point. So that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about actually dating you. I don't know where this comes from. Also, John Cannon, thanks for the video idea. Bro, your response was amazing. Check his out if you haven't already. Well, as somebody who's never going to miss a chance to piss somebody off, let me take a crack out of this. There are three types of men who will date single mothers. First and foremost is my type, where I recognize I'm 31 years old, and if you think there's a 31-year-old lady who's just been a virgin her whole life saving herself for you to show up, <laughs> you're delusional. It's not happening. Everybody's got kids at my age. Get over it. Second type of dude is the help Helen smash type of dude. He knows that your standards are so low, he'd have to limbo dance with Satan down in hell just to get under him. So he's going to take what he can get. Hate me all you want, but as a bouncer, this is something I see every weekend. Third type of dude is the bum. Usually he's fresh out of prison or just fired from a job, usually for being lazy or insubordinate. But this type of man just needs somewhere to plug his PlayStation and a cell phone in every night. He knows you've got one kid to take care of and won't mind taking care of a second. Once again, don't shoot the messenger. This is just stuff I've seen. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Somebody it's because you are easy. Most men know single mothers are sexually irresponsible. Y'all give it up quick. Y'all mothers, so we know y'all got Wi-Fi. We know y'all got snacks. We know the AC pumping. We know the crib is going to be somewhat clean. And that's why we deal with single mothers. Ain't no man going to choose a single mother over a woman with no children. That just makes no sense. Is they either get a new car or a used car with 100,000 miles. No offense to single mothers. Listen, my wife was a single mother when I got with her. But... Letting y'all know, it went down the first night. You know, we know single mothers are easy. So that's why we deal with single mothers. So it has nothing to do with, oh, they just want to be responsible and step up because real men are stepfathers. Hell no. Nah. Real men don't want to deal with your, with your kid. But we know you easy and that Wi-Fi jumping. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. There are success stories out there. Couples who've weathered the storms and come out stronger on the other side. So let's celebrate those relationships and lift each other up. And to all the single moms out there, keep doing your thing. You're not defined by your relationship status. You're defined by your strength, resilience, and love for your kids. So don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, let me give you 10 reasons why men don't want to date single moms in the first place. First off, some men might hesitate to date single moms because of the perceived baggage 
It's not just about the kids. It's about the ex-partner, the co-parenting dynamics, and the potential drama that can come with it. Some guys might see all of that as too much to handle, especially if they're looking for something low-key and drama-free. Secondly, there's the issue of time and attention. Let's face it, raising kids is a full-time job, and single moms often have their hands full. For some men, that might mean feeling like they're not getting the attention or quality time they crave in a relationship. They might worry about playing second fiddle to the little ones, which can be a deal-breaker for some. Thirdly, financial concerns can come into play. While it's not fair to generalize, some men might worry about the financial strain of dating a single mom. From childcare costs to supporting a family, there can be added pressure on the relationship, especially if one or both partners are struggling financially. Fourth, there's the fear of commitment. For some men, the idea of dating a single mom might signal a level of commitment they're not ready for. They might worry about getting to attach or feeling pressure to step into a father role before they're ready. This fear of commitment can lead some men to avoid dating single moms altogether. Fifth, compatibility can be a concern. Some men might worry about whether they'll be able to relate to or connect with a single mom on a deeper level. They might wonder if they have enough in common or if their lifestyles align. These compatibility concerns can make some men hesitant to pursue a relationship with a single mom. Sixth, there's the fear of judgment. Unfortunately, there's still stigma attached to single motherhood in some circles. Some men might worry about what their friends, family, or society as a whole will think if they date a single mom. This fear of judgment can lead some men to avoid getting involved with single moms altogether. Seventh, there's the issue of boundaries. Dating a single mom often means navigating complex family dynamics and figuring out where you fit in. Some men might worry about overstepping boundaries or feeling like they're intruding on the family dynamic. This concern about boundaries can make some men hesitant to pursue a relationship with a single mom. Eighth, there's the fear of getting hurt. Let's face it, relationships can be messy and complicated, especially when kids are involved. Some men might worry about getting emotionally invested in a relationship with a single mom, only to have it end in heartbreak. This fear of getting hurt can make some men cautious about dating single moms. Ninth, there's the issue of personal freedom. Dating a single mom often means adjusting your schedule and making sacrifices for the sake of the relationship and the family. Some men might worry about losing their sense of independence or feeling tied down by the responsibilities of dating a single mom. This concern about personal freedom can make some men hesitant to pursue a relationship with a single mom. Finally, there's the fear of the unknown. Dating a single mom means entering into a relationship that comes with its own set of challenges and complexities. Some men might worry about whether they're up to the task or if they have what it takes to make it work. This fear of the unknown can make some men hesitant to pursue a relationship with a single mom. That's it for the day. Please do like, subscribe, and share this video. It's been Obi for the Black Coffee Podcast. Cheers!